what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Medvice. My name is Jacob and I am in my last year of med school here at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. UMKC is on a short list of the medical schools in the country that still offer a combined BA or BSMD program. And now being in my last year getting ready to graduate, I feel like I have a pretty good overarching grasp of how this type of program ex affects essentially every experience you have in med school. And now I'm as applying to residency could potentially affect your future career. And I'm sure there's lots of questions coming from the pre-med side of things because these combined programs are a pathway into med school that they might look into. But the thing is, you know, they wanna know how do these programs work to where they can get you both degrees in this amount of time? Are they gonna have any time at all to themselves? What is it really like to be in med school right out of high school when you're 18 years old? So I wanted to make a video kind of doing an overview of the structure generally of a combined BSMD program, how it compares to the traditional route, and a little bit about my own unique experience here at UMKC. So the two main tracks we're gonna be comparing today are the traditional, the four plus four year track, of getting into med school as opposed to these combined tracks that we're talking about. So to start, let's give just a very brief overview, a refresher of what the traditional route means. Now, starting with the traditional route, as soon as you graduate high school, it's just like getting any other college degree. You would go to a four year to get your major, usually in something science related so that you can kind of have a background, especially at this point, a lot of people are interested potentially going into medicine. So they would do something like biology or chemistry or some degree along those lines. Now, after finishing college and having that four year degree, if you're interested in taking that track into med school, now it's time to start thinking about applying and of course taking the MCAT. The MCAT is very similar to the ACT where they think it assesses your readiness based on these undergrad classes of how you'll perform in med school. Some other things that are very common to see on a strong med school application would be volunteering, potentially research, any sort of clinical experience, you know, whether you're working as a scribe or doing a lot of shadowing. And these are things that would all be expected of you to get done during that undergrad degree while you're in the four-year school, unless you're willing to take a gap year. And this is also something that's important to talk about when discussing the traditional route. Is some people think that it's, that it's eight years and eight years flat, but a lot of times medical schools are very competitive to get into, so you may have to retake the MCAT a few times. Your application may not have enough clinical clinical shadowing or working hours. So you may need to take six months to a year off to make that application stronger in order to get into medical school along the way. So that could make your eight year journey more of a nine or 10 year journey, depending on where you're at after you finish up that four year degree. So now once you have a log of all of those experiences, you did great on the MCAT, now you're in med school, which is another four years. And how that is structured mostly is like this. The first two years are more on the academic side. You're gonna be taking lots of classes to help prepare you for the the USMLE step exams that you'll take after your second year and usually between your third and fourth year. So then your third and fourth years are what's known as your clinical years. After you finish up your academic, your classes in years one and two and you take and pass USMLE step one, now you're really working in the hospital and doing rotations like internal medicine, pediatrics, OBGYN, and this is where you really get the experience of what it's gonna be potentially like to be a doctor and this is where a lot of people discover which specialty they're interested in. After all that's done and you pass your USMLE step two, you, you apply and you interview for residents position. All right, so that was just a general overview of the traditional route in medicine. Like I said, traditionally, it is eight years, that four of undergrad plus four of med school. But like I said, a lot of times, it could become a nine or 10 year journey with those gap years. If you don't have the clinical experience, if you don't have the uh, MCAT score that you want, or maybe you're just not interviewing well when you do have those interviews for med school. So looking at the other side now, we're going to talk about the accelerated tracks. Now these combined or accelerated med school tracks can be organized in a variety of different ways. Most most of them ranging from six to eight years in length. Now UMKC, the school I go to, is one of, I believe, only two or three in the country that still allows you to get your undergrad and your medical school degree in only six years with no MCAT requirement. So obviously the first major thing that is different when you're talking about traditional versus combined is you're gonna be applying for these combined programs when you're a junior or a senior in high school. So the prep is very, very different in order to get that application ready. So you're already gonna have to have a lot of things that would be on that normal med school application like volunteering or work as a, a scribe or doing some clinical shadowing in order to make sure that they know that you're interested in the field of medicine. In terms of the organization, the application itself is a little bit more in depth than a, just a normal college application because you're gonna have to input all of these volunteer experiences, do a couple more essays, and then usually these types of programs have 
interviews associated along with them. Now, I have never interviewed for a traditional med school, um, but from talking to some friends, it seems like what we do here is fairly similar. It's a lot of situational type questions, types of questions that ask you why you're interested in medicine or, or to assess another part of your application. So in terms of that, it's, it's fairly similar. You're just gonna have to be prepared to do that a whole lot earlier. So first, starting with the combined tracks that are eight years in length, I feel like it's pretty obvious how they would probably organize it. I assume it would be more of a direct admission pathway. So you would probably start still do a four-year degree at their school and then they would give you guaranteed acceptance into their medical school program assuming you maybe met uh, an MCAT requirement that they had. And it's a little bit different from the six or seven year programs because obviously, you know, it's usually eight years. So there's gotta be some acceleration along the way or, or condensing of the curriculum to make sure that you get both degrees in that shorter amount of time. At least for UMKC, our first two years were pretty heavily front loaded with a lot of undergrad material so that we could try to get as much of that major taken care of, that undergrad degree taken care of in that first two years. All the while they would kind of sprinkle in a little bit of introductory medical school classes and all the while we would be shadowing and working a half day a week with physicians in the hospital to kind of give us just a little bit of an introduction into, into what the clinical world is gonna be like. I would assume most places that do six or seven years are organized this way because I assume the undergrad portion is much more flexible and it's, you know they allow you to get it much earlier as opposed to shortening the medical school curriculum, which is probably a lot more stringent and regulated as a, to what you have to do in order to complete it and get your MD. So after that first two years, you'll probably have the majority, if not all, all of your undergrad credits taken care of because you've been working so hard because it's accelerated and, and condensed all the while usually most schools will start to sprinkle in some of that medical school stuff just to introduce you into the idea of patient care get you into the hospital and do some shadowing so by the time you're you're in your third year you've already had a little bit of clinical experience and your undergrad is almost all the way done now once you get into your third year at least in my school that's when you get your white coat and that's when you officially join the med school so at umkc years three through four are very similar to a med school traditional track of years one and two. You're gonna be taking mostly classes, general knowledge that you're gonna need as a physician and to get ready for those boards exams. The major differences here at the accelerated program is that you've already had some clinical experiences in year one and two, so they're gonna step that up and get prepped for your clinical years in years three and four. So we're working a half a day a week in the clinics, we're doing workshops on how to do different patient interviews and physical exam skills. And sometimes in traditional med schools, these are things that are not as emphasized as much because they're really focused on that academic portion and those classes. Similarly to a traditional med school at the end of your year two is when you usually take US Assembly step one. We do that at the end of our year four, and then we start the clinical year. So our years five and six are the clinical years similar to three and four from a traditional med school. So that's not a whole lot different. You're in rotations, um, you're, you're getting prepped for the next USMLE step two exam and you're starting to think about what kind of specialty you want. And then towards the end of all of that, you become me and you're starting to apply and interview for residency programs. I've had a lot of fun with it. I've posted several videos on interview and residency tips, but then you go off and you start your residency just like any traditional med school grad. So, you know, the, the front of the work is really in those first two, three years of the, of the accelerated program, but after that, the med school curriculum isn't too much different. I think it's a benefit because we do get a lot more clinical experience when they start us earlier. But I'm gonna be posting a whole lot more videos on my experience in the combined BSMD track, you know, pros and cons, how I set myself up to get in. So right now I just wanted to give you guys an overview of kind of the organization of how it works and the comparison between the traditional route. So any of you interested out there in pursuing this type of career can make the best choice for you. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video or you look forward to me talking more about my experience, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can follow along and not miss when I post those videos. But as always, I'll see you guys next time.